to BMW E90 320. Both in A22 graphite metallic look very, very much alike. Or do they? Or do they? Or do they? On this one we have the extra S, making this a 320 SI. At first glance the 320 SI looks very very similar to the E90 320i that we all know and love. The 320 SI was equipped with the full M package consisting of M aerodynamic kits like the rear apron, side skirts and the front spoiler. And to support it all, the M-Tech suspension. Diving into this, you'll find that this is a real special car. On the inside, you'll find the M Sport leather seats and of course the steering wheel and the gear knob. And the alloy cube design here on the interior and down here by the shifter. The M package was available for all BMW E90s, but on this 320 SI, you'll find a complete range of cool, unique, very discreet details. Let's dive into them. First up, the emblem on the trunk lid stating 320SI. Black high gloss painted side mirrors, bigger inner vented 16 inch disc brakes from the six cylinder models like the 325i. And to cover them, the iconic 18 inch motorsport radial spoke 216 rims, 8 by 18 in the front and 8.5 by 18 in the back, made by BBS for BMW. First inside, these cool door sills stating 320 SI, and this is exactly what this is. Followed by the limited edition inscription in the start stop button. And this car really is limited edition. And the ref counter. And that was really it until I popped the hood. Now you're talking. In the normal E90-320i you'll find the N46 engine. Over here we have something really special, the N45 engine. Instantly recognizable by its carbon fiber valve cover here and the absence of vanus. This engine actually is moved from the factory three inches down and almost three inches towards the center of the car to make the balance and handling of this car perfect. Like the S85 V10 engine, this engine is hand-built with the aluminium that they use on the Formula 1 engine in the plants in Hams Hall. This hand-built engine is put together in the BMW plant in Landshut in Germany, so really high quality. Altogether, Quite a unique engine, more about it later on. Let us give you the story about this car exactly. We found one of these rare gems at auction here in Denmark with the statement engine kaput. Nevertheless, we won the auction and took delivery of our BMW E90 320SI. Almost 18 years and 154,000 kilometers certainly left their mark on the looks of this car. The state of this rare BMW was hideous, all dirty and worn down. Even these iconic special radial spoke 216 rims made for the E90 320SI by BBS. Service needed. First up, getting the engine running. Funny thing, the engine was not as kaput as we thought. It just needed new ignition coils to run. Spark plugs were changed. Overdue, oil change, and of course also the filters. The rims were cleaned and painted in a superb golden brown color. The BMW Motorsport riding was reinstated as it should be. The brake discs were replaced with ventilated Sport Z brake discs from Zimmermann. Also the steering wheel cover alongside the front door sills with the proper inscription were too far gone and were changed. We added our own touch by changing the fog lights to cool yellow ones. Cool high gloss black front spoiler lips were added to complete the look of the front. 
Schmiedman would not be Schmiedman if we would skip details like the rear bumper paint. Getting cozy here inside the E90 320 SI, I want to remark that this car is an absolute rare gem from the BMW factory. There are only made 2,600 of these cars ever. And here I am inside one of them. The 2,600 units made of this 320 SI makes the car way more rare than, let's say, the E30 M3, for instance, which was produced in 17,960 units. The background story is very similar to the E30 M3. This car was made by BMW as a homologation car for the World Touring Car Championship. They wanted the best starting point to build a touring car racer. And the race car participated in the WTCC, the World Touring Car Championship, and won in the years 2006, 2007 and 2008, and even giving the Drivers' Championship to Andy Pirot. So this car is part of the BMW Motorsports legacy of the E30 M3 being the most successful touring car ever and making a name for itself in the years, as I said, 2006, 7 and 8 and making Andy Pirot and BMW a champion, as they should be. A short summary of the differences between the E90 320i and the 320si before we get driving. The engine N46 versus N45 with its carbon fiber valve cover and lack of manners move closer to the center of gravity for perfect handling. M Sport leather steering wheel and gear knob as part of the M package. The interior alloy cube design, the emblem on the trunk saying SI, the high gloss black painted side mirrors, larger brake discs from the 325i covered by the radial spoke and rims by BBS, limited edition 320si inscription on the start stop button, the ref counter with different red lines and the black headlining. Let's get these two BMW E90s out for a test ride to compare them. Here we are guys in our E90 320i, the regular version. A nice small sporty saloon car from 2006. Seems quite temporary in here actually, but that's what BMW is all about. Timeless classics. The handling after 18 years still firm and solid like shaking the hands of an old friend let's do a firm acceleration steady talk all the way up through the gears and other refs. Pretty nifty little saloon this. Here we are in the E90 320 SI. And as you might hear already, way more rev ready this car. It wants the refs, it gets the refs. Back to that later. This car is not a fast car, it's not. It only has 174 horsepower compared to the standard 150 so only 24 more enough power to take it around the Nordschleife at the legendary Nürburgring at just under nine minutes the race version of this has 280 horsepowers so this is actually just the perfect starting point to do a touring car race car this red lines at over 7000 rpm the red starts at 7,300 RPM. Pretty, pretty different way of driving a car when you are used to torque. This one has almost no torque. It's just 200 Newton meters, which is caused by the lack of Vanos. Vanos is not required in racing because race cars are driven in the higher end of the rev counter so this is absolutely a driver's car already here on normal roads you really feel the difference to the regular 320i the handling is much more direct much more 
race car feel in this. This compares really well to the iconic E30 M3, which almost has no power, is slow and no torque, but on the racetrack, man, what a machine. In combination with this interior, the unique details and the M steering wheel here and the gear knob really gives it a feel of home. If I shook hand with a friend in the regular 320i, I'm hugging my lover now. Well, driving a race car, let's give it the beans. This E90 320SI and the E30 M3 has not only their homologation purpose in common, they are not fast, but they handle as hell. Direct, perfect balance, really perfect balance from the ground up. The whole concept of this car was really creating a car that handles perfectly well, is perfectly balanced for touring car championship racing, and they succeeded. They really, really succeeded. To conclude our journey with the E90 320SI and its history, there's only one thing to say. It's an overlooked gem by BMW. Get one of these if you want the touring car feeling for the road. You really get the full experience, high revving engine, perfect handling. It's an overlooked gem. It's overlooked by so many, only 2,600 ever made. So a future classic for sure. I'm simply blown away.